Uncle Birch here. I have two hands. It's necessary for me to have two hands to do what I need to do. You know, I got my right hand for my uh, blade, and I got my left hand for my wand. And there are two paths you can go by. But in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. Yeah, you need to go listen to Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven if you have not listened to it since you've been pagan. Uh, right there, it's just one little tidbit, of very valuable in, in uh, such a song. Uh, interesting song if you're not pagan, but if you're pagan, you better go listen to the song. Drastically meaningful song. Uh, the left-hand path and the right-hand path. Uh, subjects of great confusion in my time in the craft, in my life, and I've seen uh, the concepts change. Uh, to your ignorant Wiccan, the left-hand path is black magic, and the right-hand path, or the right-hand path is white magic. Um, very old, outdated concepts that uh, don't merit, bear repeating uh, anymore. Uh, now, as I recall it, we could symbolize it all like this. Let me see here. Look at Here's your right-hand path. The top point is spirit. It means spirit over the flesh. Now, here's your left-hand path. With the spirit point down. It means flesh over spirit. Essential symbolic philosophies, uh, differences of philosophies between the right-hand path and the left-hand path. Uh, essentially, uh, the, the core of it all, as I recall when I was young, was in a disagreement uh, based in those philosophies. And the disagreement was, is God out there or is God in here? These sides bickered greatly. Now, over time, that's changed. Those concepts have blurred. We've had uh, consciousness shifts in our uh, human psyche and in the craft as well. And those those philosophies have meshed together and, and seems like nobody saw that it happened. Uh, first of all, to, to, to blow a bunch of stupid arguments out of the water, these two that I just showed you were essential paths within the craft at least as far back as Gardner. There's nobody else wrote down their initiation rituals, but clearly in the Gardnerian uh, system, they had several degrees of initiation. I believe it's the second level of initiation was symbolized by the inverted pentacle, or maybe it was a third, I don't know. I, it's been a while since I studied Gardnerianisms, uh, but they knew it. They had it in their craft that it was essential for a balanced witch to have staggered the paths, <laughs> too much service of the external um, can leave you starving and dead and living on the street. <laughs> too much serving of the internal uh, can affect your, your, your greater uh, psyche as a whole. It's, it's, it's necessary for us to serve each other and to serve ourselves. The other essential differences between the paths um, historically had been the service of the external being God being outside or the serving the internal because God was inside it's it's like the Sith exactly <laughs> it's do you serve yourself or do you serve others uh, these are all interrelated philosophies and um, if you have one without the other you are going to be unbalanced and, and experience uh, many many unhappy periods in life um i find you need both and apparently the first uh, crafts known um they knew that you had to have both and they had it incorporated in their system and and most of the old crafts that i've studied there was a balance of getting what you need and uh serving god serving the external but that can be debated forever that can be debated forever now um that first belief of is God outside is God inside 
in my time, just in the craft and uh, as a spiritually awake human being on planet Earth, those came together. Those came together, those crossed over, new age recognizes it, old age recognizes it. Even some forms of Christianity have had to address the God force that lives within us. Essentially, the left-hand path philosophy. And between those two, they have blurred together and we kind of believe both. Uh, it's typical for both of those beliefs to exist within the craft. And if you read my Oh God, or if you watch my Oh God book 13, absolutely, God has to be both outside and inside. Um, God's not going to be either or. And of course, I'm talking about the God, Goddess, all that is. Um, but essentially, uh, the left-hand path and the right-hand path collided, blurred over into each other, and I think it's a good thing. Yet the bickering still goes on, and there's still lots of people out there disagreeing to this day, and I'm unclear what they're disagreeing on. <laughs> okay, now if, you want, if they want to just break it down to a black magic, white magic uh, argument, well, they can disagree uh, plenty on that, but essentially... Uh, the differences between the right-hand path and the left-hand path in craft are, are vague and, and blurry. Uh, now, if you took the left-hand path to its extreme, to the extreme left, the most extreme people that refer to themselves as left-hand path practitioners, the most extreme left would be the Satanists. And they're... Uh, Satanists are not witches, and we're not Satanists, and yeah, I know all those arguments. Um, but I don't waste a whole lot of time on those arguments, because I don't mind the Satanists. They, they've, they've got some interesting ritual beliefs going on. I'm not practicing them. I'm not into them, but I'm not threatened by the Satanists. Uh, witches spend a lot of time arguing down the Satanists, when there's a church over there bent on your demise and destruction, depending on where you live, but it tends to be uh, 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 the majority opinion of the churches out there. And uh, I've never seen a Satanist uh, going to hunt down witches and persecute them. So um, they, they, we, they, they can coexist. That's fine. But, but, but essentially, they do refer to themselves as the left-hand path and... Um, there is something to that. They would essentially be the leftist of the left-handest, left-handististist path, the service of the self. Uh, this, uh, they're not calling it God, but that force being external. And uh, but then, you know, then some Satanists are are going to argue. You know, is Satan outside or is Satan inside? A little demon inside. So I imagine even amongst the Satanists, they're still arguing the left-hand path for versus versus the right-hand path of Satanism. But I'm only guessing. I can't speak for the Satanists. I don't know. But uh, I, I felt that it was a rant that needed to be had because nobody seems to be having it. And it's one of those, just one of those things that seems damn obvious to me. Uh, I've paid attention for a long time. I've paid attention to craft more than anything else. And I'm good at this because I've done more of this with more of my time for more of my life than anything else. If I'd have sat around... Uh, basket weaving for that amount of time, I'd be an expert basket weaver. I just happen to be good at the occult. <laughs> I happen to be good at seeing holes and things lost over time and have been around enough time to, to just watch things actually be lost in my lifetime. And, and uh, what we were originally arguing about has been lost. <laughs> and, and though pe people are still having the arguments, it doesn't seem that they understand the arguments anymore. So I want to put the arguments back into perspective so we can stop arguing because because really uh, in all witchcraft I have seen elements of left hand and right hand path and philosophies and I think them both very necessary. And a couple, couple crafts will talk about walking the twisted path. And I've come to believe that that's exactly what they're talking about. The twisted path winds back and forth. There's a time to be on your left foot, a time to be on your right foot. Um, we need both. Um, I can't get a whole lot done with just my right hand. I need my left hand to manifest something. 
I could probably go on forever, and I know I got 15 minutes, and I haven't quite reached my 10. I'm, I'm stuck on, in, in old habits, but uh, so she might rant, you know, spirit over the flesh, flesh over the spirit. Times for for both of those men. Times to think of just your flesh, and uh, I think I think they're interrelated. Uh, in, in light, flesh enlightenment brings spiritual enlightenment. They're they're related, and that's why they're in the pinnacle, and why you only have to like flip it to change the whole thing. We are we are members of the same family. We bickered for a very long time. I think the time has come to not bicker anymore, and to see that really accidentally we've come to agree on a great lot of things and even the status quo of Wicca will be preaching the existence of God inside us as a force inside us and, and any time that we anytime we go there we've essentially ran ourselves right into the original of the left-hand path philosophies that uh, that were once debated so naturally accidentally we've evolved to include it all and uh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Pray, pray, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Brothers and sisters, boys and girls, dear friends, merry meet, merry part, merry meet again.